Hey, we're at Homestead in the A car, and it's A open today. Got my uh, OSR set up here, um, free, whatever, free setup. Um, do I want to do tape? I might as well. All right, got to remember 48%, and remember not to leave it all the way up. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, love this track. Love Homestead. Very, very slick. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if in the cup car you want to be running the high line or not. I don't know if that's the best line. I kind of was watching a little bit of footage and it seemed like guys weren't always up there. Uh, they kind of were doing like the middle line kind of thing. But uh, I think I want to do the high line because that's just more fun to me. <laughs> so probably during the race. I'll be doing the high line for better or worse. And just having some fun. And let's see what we can do for qualifying. This lap gonna take it a little easier. Let's make sure we get a good lap in. And then the second lap, I'll uh, see if I can push the envelope a bit. It's a bump over here that I don't remember being there. That's a big headache. <laughs> Rather not have that there, but oh well. Lap one. My time was not as good as I would have hoped in practice. Uh, lots of fast guys out here, so not sure how well it's going to go. I usually like to have my best lap be a little bit better than uh, what I had, so. But uh, this lap's going to be a little bit better, about a tenth up. And where will that put us? At 32.330, engine's about to blow. <laughs> Fourth, yeah, not too great. Kind of what I was seeing in practice. Let me see if I can get this oil temp down so it doesn't blow while I'm messing around out here. Once it's uh, once the little thing down here turns red, that means it could blow at any second. So you gotta get that down lower. 48%. Gonna remember that. And let's see, we just got six people qualified so far, and uh, I'm kind of in the lower half of it. Okay, Carter, you water Number six car. Right Try take it easy. Yeah, I got like 100% tape on here, so can't really even hit go full throttle or this thing's going to explode. And I'd rather uh, cruise around slowly than blow up and just stare at the screen, so... Feels a little less loose than it was in practice, so that makes me think that maybe uh, temperatures are a little cooler here than they were then. It's good to know. When I was practicing, it seemed like doing this high line was wearing the tires pretty evenly. Uh, of course, I wasn't doing it for too long, but uh, maybe that means that uh, I'll be better in the long run if I run up there. I don't know. I really don't know for sure. That's just guesswork at this point. Cause uh, this first, uh, my first race here of the week, and it's uh, been a minute since I did A class cars at Homestead, and I don't think I've ever done an open race. So, in fact, that's one thing I could do: practice uh, pit stop. I did uh, do a little bit of practice before, but. Can't get enough of that, that's for sure. So we've fallen out of the top seven. We're in eighth at the moment. Not too upset with that. Come down here. Oops. <laughs> that's why we practice. It was a, a little bit uh, closer than I thought. And instead of diving it down and potentially spinning, I just aborted mission. I was seeing how far I could push it. And uh, that was too far. 
Got to remember I'll be on older tires as well. Oh, we're kicked out. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. We might not even get um, 80. Did I leave it at 80? I thought I put it at 100. That's weird. I swear I had that at 100. Hmm. Oh well. Get the right uh, tape in, double check. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake. And we're ready to go. Just gonna have the last lap up. Crew chief's ready to tell me about fuel and whatnot. Three sets of tires. And a hundred lap race, so not gonna be going all super hard at the, off the start. How many uh, guys we got in here? Let's see. 22, 23 people. So not as big as that last uh, Phoenix fixed race I did in a cup car. That's still pretty uh, decent sized field, 23. I was really hoping I would be a higher number other than a six, you know. I thought more people were signed up. That's uh, we're still pretty high ranked, unfortunately. Uh, so we're gonna have to get a, we're kind of, the pressure's on to get a good finish. It's kind of like, uh, you know, if you're, a, if you're a low number, high ranked, you're in a, uh, Hendrick car or a Joe Gibbs car or something, like, you're expected to do well. But if you're, like, the 20 car or something, you're, like, a lower budget team, so if you kind of, like, finish mid-pack or higher, then you still get a pat on the back. <laughs> There's less expectations. Uh, we're getting ready to go here. Everyone got all ready? ready? Sun's kind of in our eyes today. It's going to be blinding us heading into uh, turn one. Especially as it sets a little bit more, I think. It's going to get even more in the eye line. You're going to have to watch out for that. Here. I guess I can't be too upset about an 8th place uh, qualifying early in the week with a free setup. So I guess I have to have some perspective there to be able to not have to pay or work on my own setup and uh, to still end up here uh, in the top 10 qualifying. It's, uh, that's pretty good when you think of it that way. These guys up front either you know, have probably built a setup themselves or went out and paid for a you know, professionally crafted one. Do a second gear start. Get ready. Go in green. And watch that uh, leader over here. In the blue. Ooh. 22 really missed the start. great. I don't know if he was like in the wrong gear or what, but he missed it. And now he's slow. Alright, well we picked the wrong guy to start behind. And we're already three wide again. Come on guys. Slap one. Not necessary. Alright. Well, we survived. For now. ease off of it and roll because I don't know how uh, this guy how hard this guy is gonna go in oh, wow we got some space behind us what if some got loose these guys can go ahead and run that middle line I'm gonna be right up here having a fun time going slow <laughs> of course uh, if I have to get past this guy I might have to make myself uh, a new groove, or you know, the groove down there. Ooh, man, they got arrow push. I gotta remember that's a thing in these cup cars. I'm like, why isn't the car turning? And I'm like, oh, because well, you got arrow push. This 15's right in front of you. That guy got loose. He's going real 
real slow, so we're going to cut down. So we don't want to lose too much time behind him. And uh, we'll uh, take our high side. It's just feeling a little held up by him. Don't want to go anywhere too fast, but... Hit this bump. And get on going again. So yeah, I think we can pull away from that 15. Watch for arrow push. Yeah, I just feel like those guys are going to burn off the right front, stewing that middle line and sliding up at the exit like that. I could be wrong. I could be the fool. I mean, like, look at that guy around the high side. He doesn't know. Gonna get lots of air push. Gonna anticipate it. Love this track, man. I love doing the multi groove, like. Some guys run in the middle, some guys run in the top kind of stuff. Ooh, I tried to miss the bump, but kind of slid up near it anyway. Wasn't a very good uh, approach to that corner. Wonder if these guys are going to switch up their line as the race goes on, or if we're going to. if they're just going to stay down there. Not sure how uh, that's going to go. Not enough of a run for me. Not at this point in the race. Want to make sure I can get past him. I don't want to race side by side for a long time or anything. Ooh, oil temperature is high, you say. Might have to take some tape off when we pit. Of course. Uh -huh. I'll keep an eye on it. It is a little concerning though. I guess it's because I am running right behind this guy. It's probably hotter. Yeah, I need to not do that <laughs> two and a half groove there. Middle and a half. <laughs> I think if I'm going to do the high side, i got to commit to high side. Even if it is scary. Because, uh... I don't know how, if the arrow push is going to send you in the wrong direction. Sixth place. Bump. I wonder if that bump is uh, even noticeable on like the uh, lower down force cars. It's kind of a bigger issue whenever you're running uh, these cup cars. Ooh, that's a pass. I don't know where I'm going with this. I didn't really want to do this. Alright, we got that guy. I guess that worked. I didn't even really want to do that, but... That's cool. Top five right now. I'm so scared of that bump. Because if you hit that wrong and you're not slow enough, you're, uh, it's going to be hard to keep it out of the wall. It's getting tighter. So I better be careful. Hmm. 
Maybe the uh, high side is worse on the tires. Couldn't tell you for sure. I do know I do not want to hit the wall. So if it means I have to go slower not to hit it. And I guess that's just what I'm going to have to do. Maybe I'll try a bit of a middle line, see how it goes for me. Kind of follow these guys. That didn't work at all. <laughs> I just ended up in the high line again. That's some inexperience, because I haven't really uh, done enough driving any other line. Oh, okay, fine. We'll stay right up there then. Ugh. I think I just need to get back to what I know. Instead of messing around. Because we are pulling away from the guy behind still, I think. It's kind of hard to say. lift way too much. High side might have been a mistake, fellas. <laughs> hmm. Let me see what the low line does. Famous last words. a second. Now, are we going to lose it all on the exit, or was that better? I think that might have been better. Not too much better. It's deceiving because uh, you gain a lot on entry, but lose it on exit. But uh, I think what we want to do is high side one and two, low side uh, three and four. That's my guess right now. <laughs> we'll find out. But we might have driven the tires off the thing. Alright. I said one and two, and then we'll dive to the bottom in three and four. I guess they save tires. Well, they're gonna get past me, I assume. Maybe tire saving was the way to go. Yikes. Well, not gonna fight him too hard. He's clearly got the better car at this moment. I have the car anymore. So I think uh, if I do the uh, second run, I might have to try doing that uh, other line they were doing. Maybe try doing a low line. See how that goes. It 
does seem like I'm just generally faster, for better or for worse, just doing the high side, though. Maybe I'm just better at it. I'm probably being really frustrating right now. <laughs> so trying to pass me. Ugh. Car's tight. I was really hoping it would get more loose as I ran up high. But uh, not quite what we're experiencing. They're gracing me really close. done. Kind of glad. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, it just, uh, it doesn't look like it's better. You know, even though I'm falling back, I think, uh, I still just want to be on the high side. I think I've overdriven. <laughs> I think I've, uh, dug my grave. I kind of just have to stay up here now. have tires anymore. Trying to find a solution when there is none. I think the only uh, course of action is now you fall back. If I uh, get a chance here at the moment, I'm gonna... Uh-oh. Get some pitting already? What was that? I saw some smoke. Maybe they just got loose. Um, gonna set my brake bias back. Get extra rotation on entry. Honestly, if I knew this thing was gonna get tight, I probably would have put it all the way back right from the start. But uh, I thought it was gonna get. I thought it was gonna get loose. I would have really liked that. Love fighting that, but I guess we'll be Ryan Newman for a while and be uh, really hard to pass. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not really getting tight on exit. It's mostly just uh, on entry. So. My entry there. Kind of a dangerous spot to be in because uh, with guys being impatient, they might just go ahead and try a slide job on me and door me. My mistake. So we got someone running my line here. Really prefer not to be stuck behind them. <sighs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Don't be up in the groove, like, I don't know, be on the low line. <sighs> oh well. Back behind the 22, the guy that we started behind, who had a terrible start. <laughs> Remember, 
stay uh, real close to the wall because I know they're going to be pinching me. I think uh, everyone's kind of evening out a little bit more. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just I've kind of reached the other guys that are on my pace at this point in the run. But, uh, this guy on the inside is having a real tough time passing me. There he goes. Oh, he almost got the 22. Did he spin? Yikes. He would have uh, had that pass done, but he got too far. Almost got into the 22. A little bit uh, tight and center there. figure out how to save my tires better. 22's run, <laughs> running two lanes at once. Yeah, this thing's just not turning anymore. I bet that guy hates that he has to get past me yet again. He's just going to burn his tires off more and more every time he tries that, though. And, uh, well, I guess we'll defend the position. <laughs> Something, something a little different next time. Next run. This 22 is directly in my path. It's kind of doing what I'm doing, but maybe not as successfully. Because he's even slower out of the corner. Eleven got it done. Almost. Just gotta get past the twenty-two now. Who's rubbing the wall? Got Might have to get past the twenty-two. He's uh, gotten pretty slow. But uh, scary thing is, I'm gonna have to do that on the low line because he's protecting the high line. I'm getting a taste of my own medicine now. <laughs> cutting down on exit which is killing his run off. Oh my god. Duh. Too tight. I thought that other guy was the 11. Did I call the other guy the 11? It must have been the 10. I think I was calling him the 11, probably because I saw the FedEx scheme. This car isn't turning anymore. It's pretty much all. Uh, well, this was poorly managed. <laughs> I didn't have the right approach. That's okay. You don't always. I was aggressive for no reason. He only uh, didn't turn himself across my nose because I lifted off for him. Like that's just <laughs> you're taking a risk when I don't think that was necessary. Could have easily uh, completed the pass 
heading into turn one or something. Look how slow this thing is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pit early. Can we make it if we fuel now? Don't know. Let's go, Cam. Let's go. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pit, I think. Hmm, am I? Next lap. We're gonna, we're gonna do it next lap. Cause I think these guys are gonna catch me from behind and I wanna give them, I wanna do it before I get, uh, they get too close. I'm gonna short pit it and try to do better the second half on my tires. And we're gonna have to try something different. Uh, unless this guy's wrecking. That guy looks like he's trying to bring out a caution, so I guess I can't now. No, he just quit, I guess. Oh, that delayed our pit one lap. Because I thought he was trying to bring out a caution or something. So. Alright, well that's a spot. <laughs> for what that's worth. A spot. That's what that's worth. So, I don't think you normally want to pit this soon, but I think I put myself in a position where I need to because I did terrible saving my tires. I forgot to take the low line. <laughs> I don't want to pit from the top lane, so. Delayed one more. All right, procrastination. You <laughs> gotta remember to take the low line because you don't want to coin half it and pit from the middle or top lane. All right, I'm gonna let it know. Gonna be pinning in here. All right, easy does it. Thanks for the heads up. Watch your speed. Slowish entry, but as long as I don't mess it up. Yeah, if you can do it, make sure you uh, let guys know if you're pitting in, so they don't run in the back of you. In real NASCAR, you'd be you know waving that hand out the window, but you don't really get that in sim racing. I think we can make it on fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can make it on fuel. Oh, maybe we can. It looked bad for a second. I think it looked away or something. But, uh, let me remember that we're in a race. So I want to actually kind of push out of the pits here. The tires are going to be really loose. i got to remember. Because they're cold. go so okay we can make it on fuel I think I think it's gonna be close but I think we can do it I am going to do whatever I can to save these tires this time because that was a huge downfall for me before and uh, we're gonna be out here longer than most people because we pit earlier so we're gonna take this low line See if that's better for us. Let's see where we are lap wise. Right now we're the first car lap down, so we'll get the lucky dog if a caution comes out. But as soon as pits start, we're gonna have to hope that uh, we're not in a bad position. So rolling dice here, but um, bad strategy from the start, I think, is. Uh, I gotta get past that guy. 
bad strategy from the start, I think, has necessitated us to have to take a risk if we want to uh, finish that I think we need. Because after all, we're the Team Hendrick, <laughs> Team Gibbs car today, so we have high expectations. And so far, I haven't quite met him. Well, this is not great. Got too wide going on. It looked like that guy was taking the high line, then he kind of started cutting down, so... <sighs> Hopefully this works. Hopefully uh, running that lower line is going to be better for us. Hopefully I have enough fuel. <laughs> Love some strategy though. That's why I wanted to do some open races this season. I didn't quite get to do as many as I was hoping. For one reason or another, but I guess I'm going high lane here. It's hard to tell which lane guys are gonna be taking. Initially. <laughs> I'm doing bad. I need to just uh, pick a lane and hopefully not be on the one they're in. And, I don't know. So I'm kind of halfway choosing. Alright. Hey, everyone else is pitting real late, it looks like. I don't know if I've seen anyone else pit. There we go, pitting in. Okay. Now they've started. So, we've gained uh, a lot of track position. But uh, it means we're going to have a tough time second half of the of the run. Probably not going to be a great finish for us, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get that lap back pretty soon, or at least uh, get back on the lead lap. Where are you being? Where are you going to be, eight? I don't know where he's going to be. I don't know if he's sliding up or what. nicer with the tires this time. I feel like it's already feeling better than it did in the same amount of laps from the start. We'll see how high we can get up uh, in the order. Uh, all the time we've gained for having these fresh tires, it's going to make it look like we're doing really good for a little bit, but then they're going to start catching us as little laps go on. Still good on fuel. Okay, so I was worried about the fuel thing, but we're good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Got a little loose on the low side, that's what I want. I think the ideal thing is we uh, get ourselves back on the lead lap in good track position and then maybe even get a caution. That would be the perfect scenario, I think, for us. I believe that's a car with fresh tires behind us, so we'll uh, stay high for a while.
had three different speeds coming there. That was uh, interesting. I had to make sure I did that right. So, unfortunate, but it looks like the high side's not the way to go. Bummer. I'll have to see if the uh, Xfinity cars or something, or I don't even know if the Xfinity cars are at Homestead, but uh, if they are, see if those can run on the high side, because I'd love to do a race where the high side is dominant. That's what I was hoping we'd get here. Pitting? Can't tell. It's running like in the middle. That's where he was pitting, so I was uh, kind of trying to be a little higher, and then he was actually not pitting, so he drifted up and kind of where I was headed, so. We no, we're not back in the lead lap. That's the leader right there. So we want to get back in the lead lap as soon as possible. We might be the lucky dog. I think we're the lucky dog. So that's good. Hopefully our uh, easy pace, our easy tire saving pace, <laughs> pays off. The car's feeling so much better this time, though. I think this is definitely how I was supposed to be running it. I don't even know if we're catching up to that leader, though. It's 4.1. Now we are gaining on the leader. Um, are we the lucky dog? So bring us back to the top, and we are. So I, I'm okay with that. Tens uh, approaching on better tires, so we'll let them by when they reach us. Feels good right now being in fourth, but I uh, can't, uh, can't forget that we're not going to be able to keep it. Got to remember how this is going to go. Feels good to pretend I'm in third, though. <laughs> chance to save even more tire. Okay. Still a little paranoid about that fuel, but <laughs> we're still good. We're uh, off pace of that 10, but it's not quite as drastic as I thought it might have been. We might uh, maintain more spots than I thought because of the risk we took. Or is that just me getting my hopes up in a different way when I totally myself not to? Hmm. Makes me wonder if I, uh, if I had run this line the whole race, how much I would have been able to stay up, keep up there, but can't uh, play that game.
we got guys setting uh, fastest laps, so you know they're coming. Just a matter of uh, where they are. Approaching. Let's run my line. It's multi grooves here, so shouldn't be too bad getting around people. coming. You can see them. They're all coming fast. I already lost a couple and there's a lot more people coming too. Yeah, this guy's just insisting to go low. That's cool. Maybe take a line I didn't want to take. So we have to take the high line this corner. Remember how that feels. Mm -hmm. Man, just running that one time on the high side. All of a sudden the tires feel so much worse. That's crazy. High side open, dude. Like, I don't know why you have to cut it so close. People are insisting on going to the bottom. Thought I just let that guy do it. Not doing it for a lap down guy though. He can find his own way around. So if he's peeking, I'll let him go. He's trying to be predictable here. Push. Yeah, we're just gonna fall right back down to where we were, I think. Just gonna keep falling. By the time this thing's over, we're just going to end up right where we were. Pretty near it. I'll go. There's a hundred thousand spots. Kind of even and out though. They're not quite catching me as fast. Then, whatever. Go high, then, whatever. Go low. Clear out, guys, if you want to. Car outside. Not 
Why are you freaking pinching me down? Like, Jesus. Got the whole track, and you obviously have better tires. about evened out. Look at that, we're kind of keeping up with them. I mean, they're uh, clearly a little faster, but it's getting pretty close. So, uh, we'll see how it ends up, but we're still in 10th. It's better than what we were at the start of the pit cycle. And the car feels a little loose, so that's much better. or what or if I just uh, went in there too hard but it's not what I wanted to do but see now we've got uh, plenty of time for maybe a caution to come out that's uh, it affords us that as well if we get a late caution then uh, I've got track position for a while Sure, this 12 can catch me. Now well, they're on the high side, they'll probably be able to do it right here. Okay, so back to 11th now, I believe that is. Can't remember exactly where we came in um, before pit cycle, but uh, pretty sure it was a good deal higher than that. We we're not doing well. Continue being nice to our tires, and hey, maybe it'll, it'll even cross over at some point, and uh, their tires are going to be worse than uh, mine are. It's pretty unlikely, but could happen. We've got a long time back to a uh, 13 place car right now, so. Maybe we'll be able to hold on once this uh, next guy passes us. setups they're paying to be one spot ahead of me on a free setup right now <laughs> so I guess that's some more perspective again gotta remember I'm on a free setup so not too bad it's that 12 falling off we're gonna repass them I think we're still we're actually gaining on the 18, so we might have found our spot here. I think our uh, pit strategy actually gained us uh, a little bit. And probably just running the second half of the race better also played a big part. But so uh, we were able to avoid any mistakes on pit road. We didn't like half spin it on entry or anything, and 
didn't overshoot the box, so that could have been something other people did that we avoided. Could have helped us out. Get it down low. Yes. Yeah, we're uh, gaining on 18th place. Maybe we can even uh, suddenly have better tires than the guy in front of us. Maybe we can pass him back. We got uh, 17 laps to go, looks like. Oh, we're kind of reeling this guy in just a little bit. They're running a higher line, so I think uh, after what we learned in the first half of the race, we're learning that... Uh, it's gonna chew up his tires, or her, Jody. That can be a, that's a gender neutral name, so I don't know. So they are probably going to uh, chewing up their tires. I guess I have my uh, brake bias set back too, and I did from the whole start of that run, so I should have started the race with it down there. Just some experience I didn't have. Yeah, see that slide up they just did there? That's going to hurt their tires more than me, than what I did there. That right front, which is uh, the thing that makes them tighter. Well, we're pretty even, actually. Kind of just maintaining that uh, point three ish kind of range. Well, they take the bottom line. Interesting. They're getting loose on exit. I'm jealous. Why can't I have some of that? How did you do that? How did you get your car loose? I guess their setup's different. Probably set up looser. Man, I'd love that. We drove it a little bit. Fine. Caution free so far, that's really cool. Love it. Even if uh, we would have benefited from the caution, you can't complain about a green flag race. So I'm staying lower on exit a little bit. Looks like they get out faster still. The car feels so much better this run. I just uh, gotta say that definitively. I nearly got up alongside them there. They're kind of far down the track. But we didn't hit them. they're pushing to try to stay in front of me at this point so I think our tires have crossed over and the one that passed us earlier we are now getting past ourselves they're gonna fight it but I think we've uh, we're in a good position So I think we're, we uh, saved our tires better. Just gotta wait uh, for the right moment. Not gonna be too aggressive. Still got 10 laps to do it. And we really killed them in uh, 1 and 2. Ah, look at that run off though. Hmm. Man, 
maybe this won't be so easy. I think uh, they might have to make a mistake. One chance. Oh, they take that lower line this time. You can tell their tires are much worse. What if we do this, though? Well, that wasn't good at all. <laughs> yeah, I had to try it. Thought at least maybe we'd get a good run off and get a better spot, but not so much. So we lost time to him doing that. Yeah, look how much faster it is taking that low line. Even if you lose a little bit off, it's still much better. Well, I thought we had them, but it's going to be real hard to pass them. Be a 12th place finish for us, which, uh, considering how bad I was falling off early in the run, in the race, I'm pretty happy I was able to salvage that. So I just had the wrong approach, bar none, at the start of the race. And it's, a uh, hard to get a good finish if you're not running the track right. They're pushing. They're trying everything they can to stay in front of me. Oh, they're on our outside. I think they overdrove it. They're pinching me. Done. Looks like we are. We got a better run off there. It's gonna be key. And we got it for now. They're gonna get a run off though. turning it all god I think I should have uh, protected the inside line you get this seam and help it turn a little bit oh we got it we got it okay that got tight almost ran into me don't you lie me Daniel uh, we're back to the bottom where we want to be. I think we'll be just fine to hold them off now. Whew, how many laps did that pass take? <laughs> that was a good portion of the race we are fighting. But we did it clean. And I'm uh, pretty proud of uh, being able to get that done. Because I wasn't sure if we were going to. And uh, just in time, because we are uh, coming to the white flag. Leader's lapping a guy who doesn't want to be lapped. Can we avoid that fate? Oh, uh, that poor guy behind us. He's pushing so hard. You could see him just go all the way over the track, but uh, we just saved tires better. You could see how hard they were pushing. So, I'm going to call the first half of the race a, uh, a failure. <laughs> first half was a failure. Ran it completely wrong. Second half was a success. 
Uh, we weren't able to make up all the uh, ground that we lost in the first half, but we made up uh, a decent chunk and uh, had a decent time of it. So, 11th place. Could have been worse. Good round, guys. Going to red dot. There we go. It's going to four off. There's the ticket flag. Yeah. Okay. We'll get them next time. Good win. Good race. It was fun. All right. So find a nice clear spot. On the track to hit the brakes. Good battling with the 12 for sure. They raced uh, clean as well. They didn't uh, do any crazy slide jobs at any point or door us. Raced hard, but it was good. So, top half of the field. Could have been a little better. Probably should have been a little better, but, you know, I guess uh, I gained my, uh, gained my uh, I rating equivalent of a sixth place through fixed series mostly. So, uh, if you penalize my uh, finishing spot a couple times from using a free setup and uh, just straight up driving it wrong, kind of makes sense. I get right about 11th. Makes sense, I think. All right, so we'll uh, see what happened. But a uh, totally green race. Very fun. I love it. Do a um, chopper pan. There's a 22 getting a terrible start. I don't know what that was all about. The mic gain being way too high for some reason. Uh, this is 12 early on. Ooh, they got loose early on. Oh, no. <laughs> well, they had damage, too, I think. wonder if that was affecting them at all. Makes my pass a little less impressive, maybe, but <laughs> we don't know if it was actually hurting them. Uh, I don't see anything happening there. Maybe just a touch on entry. I think we might get a lot of that because uh, people that wanted to run the high side are going to be scratching it once in a while. I wonder if anyone else came to the same realization as, as me that uh, the high side's a bad idea. Like you see the that guy's running the high side and the well, he kind of moved down. Maybe because he just hit the wall though. But, uh, I wonder if we like pay attention to the guys that were running the high side at the start of the race, where they ended up. Like, he did high side, he ended up 15th. Um, the number 17, they run in the high side. Uh, they're kind of just going middle. Ooh, number one getting the wall pretty good. Ooh. And they come together there. That could have been a uh, caution right there. In the wall. Yep. So the 20 was running the high side. Where'd they finish? Oh, <laughs> I already looked at the 20. 15. 22. Running the high side. Hitting the wall a little bit. Where'd they finish? Oh, they did fine. So maybe uh, maybe my setup wasn't quite for it. Or maybe I'm making excuses. I'm just not that good. <laughs> I don't know. Be interesting, though, to see uh, how different uh, guys finished and the approaches they took. But the high side didn't work for me. That's for sure. Um, the setup I had, I guess, wasn't um, meant for it. Probably meant for that line I ended up taking near the end of the race. Because that's another problem with having a free setup, is uh, you don't really know what the the engineer had in mind when they were making it. You know, they don't know if they were like, yeah, I'm going for a long-term setup, or, you know, a long-run setup, or, you know, this one will be real fast on short runs, or it's a loose, it's tight. You don't know what's, uh, what they were going for with it. You kind of just get it downloaded and have to figure it out. Ooh. Oh, no. Wow. That happened out here, huh? Well, that easily could have been a caution. But uh, no one was behind him, so it didn't, didn't count as one. So uh, there's no one for quite a while, and they get below the apron before anyone comes up on them. So, wow, that could have been a caution right there. That must have been that smoke I saw early on. I remember seeing that smoke. I was getting the wall. 
Number one and number 12. Ooh, just tiny, barely little touch. Racing close. Oh, almost looked like they were getting loose there. Can't go back though. Or if you can't, I don't know how to do it. Some wall, some wall. What's this? Oh, 18 got a got that one entry. I think this. Uh, I don't know what this was. That's too early for pit stops. I think uh, 18 thought they were running the high side. And the 10 was going for the middle, so they kind of came together. That's just kind of like a racing incident. Misunderstanding. <sighs> 18 catches the 20 on exit. That can happen in these multi-groove races, too. Guys get a huge run off the corner, and they meet uh, someone that took the low line. Seventeen gonna get tight and move up into the sixteen. Is that what's gonna happen? Sixteen sliding in front of them. Crown, I didn't see anything. Probably didn't make the sixteen too happy, but what I do? Is this, did I hit the wall? No, I'm real tight at this point, though. I'll tell you that. What was my uh, tires at the end? Four. Wow, those tires were wearing bad, and that was the. I mean, that was a longer run, I guess, but that was a, it's a good thing I was taking care of my tires, because they were real bad by the end. wonder what they were after the, the first run. These guys have uh, similar schemes. One's got, like, the flames, one's got, like, the arrow kind of looking things on the front. Not seeing much. I'm going to skip a little faster. Oh, I think they got the wall hard. What'd you do? Yeah, they got the wall hard. Their tires were dead. Probably like mine were. There's more people catching up to me. So I was running about uh, 12th. So I ended up about where I started before the run, apparently. I felt like I was so much worse. Yeah, because I pit right here from 12th. Okay, so it kind of evened out in the end. But, uh, because I went from uh, 12th from the first run to 11th on the second run. So, more even than I thought, but I wouldn't have been able to make it to the end and make that pass if I hadn't been nicer on my tires the second round. So, I still think that's the way to go. Not seeing much there. Make some wall. Wall. Go a little faster because there's lots of people hitting the wall. Number 12, we eventually had a good battle with. Doing nothing. It's uh, gonna skip a little faster until we see uh, some guys near each other where we get more potential danger like that. Five. Probably turning the wheel real hard to the left to make sure you didn't get into them because they're probably real tight at this point in the run because they hadn't pit yet. Mm -mm -mm. Some more wall hits. They were really starting to hit the wall later in their run. Alright, let's go. Let's see some action. Got some, more, some guys pitting. The eight had to kind of dodge them and got loose out of the corner because of it. They must not have known they were uh, pitting in front of them. Where did the... Uh, I'm curious where the 10 finished. Fifth. Wow, they did pretty good. They uh, pit not too long after us, but they uh, had a better approach overall, I think. And they had the track position both from the first half of the race. Some guys close to each other, but well, we're already at uh, lap 87, so a lot less action uh, in terms of incidents, I mean, near the end of the race. Ooh, that was weird. I think I got it kind of loose, like, right at the exit. And we're also on the straightaway by the time they did that. 
Ooh, these guys must have really loose setups. That's probably why they're so fast. Probably why they can run that higher side if they need to. Ah, oh, here's our battle with the 12. I don't think we touched them ever, did we? Just giving them plenty of room. Just uh, kind of move, making sure I'm right on that uh, seam right there. Didn't feel the need to go any higher than that because I felt like we'd get it done. Um, yeah. Oh, this was the pass. I think that might have been our first uh, actual pass there. Yeah, so let's go ahead and watch this for a second because that was pretty good racing. So then uh, they had the bottom there, so I had to kind of do the top, and it was so tight. <laughs> it was like so hard to turn. See how long it took me to even start uh, being able to pull away from the wall there. Got just enough run to be able to stay alongside them. I think we get them right here, don't we? Because they go to the bottom. And they had, uh, I think their tires were worse than ours at that point. They slide up and uh, we got the run off, so we got to clear them. And then we had them cleared enough that we could take our preferred line and we kind of started driving away. Because they really fell off after that because they just had to... They didn't have the grip anymore. They tried pushing real hard. Is this where they slide up and almost hit the wall? No, I think that was the next lap even. Let me see. I kind of want to see that. If I if it wasn't even as bad as I thought. But yeah, look how far they go from the bottom all the way to the top. Almost get the wall. Yeah, that's what I saw in my mirror. They they just had uh, their car had nothing left to give, and they were trying to get as much as they could. They actually end up hitting the wall. It looks like, unless this is a false. Alarm. I think it's a false alarm, actually. But, uh, the car's suffering. And uh, that's the end of the race. <laughs> Number two slams on their brakes. Maybe not happy with their finish. Getting out of there as quick as possible. Maybe they had another race coming up soon. They're like, I gotta get out of here. That's, uh, alright. Decent run. 11th. Um, for coming in with the wrong approach and uh, having to adjust in the second half of the race. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Not great. Decent. Decent run. Top half of the field. Number one got last. Their I rating just uh, went 2008 levels of tanking. <laughs> but uh, we'll probably remain about even on our rating. Maybe lost a couple points or something. But uh, number 21 wins the race. Nice job. That Lewis car. Alright. Anyway, I'll see you later.